Hey Jim, I really appreciate you giving me an appointment today. Uh, I'm only going to take about 15 minutes, uh, but I, I have something that I think is kind of creative and, and important to share with you. Um, and Daimler's asked that I, that I do this. And as you may remember, I, I've been assigned as a fixed operations coach with Daimler. There's several of us throughout the United States. and and I, I know that old saying, I'm from the factory and I'm here to help, but in this case, it's not quite like that. I'm an independent business consultant and I've been hired by Damler to, to share with you some of my ideas that I've gleaned over the last 40 years or 40 plus years in the industry, both wholesale and retail. So I, I've done my stint in retail as well. I've got a creative idea uh, I want to share with you, and, and hopefully you'll embrace it and we can move forward. Uh, have you ever thought, are our satisfied customers really satisfied? Um, and I guess we want them to be more than satisfied. Uh, is it possible that maybe we've lost some of our customers because we, we haven't gone uh, as quickly as we could with their repairs and it, I don't know is our first in first out system really customer sensitive uh, and finally is there a better way should we look at maybe trying a better way to meet the needs of our customers or, or better than meet uh, exceed the needs of our customers do you remember that old TV show of that sitcom called MASH <laughs> back in the, I, I think it was the 60s and the 70s? Uh, great comedy, uh, really loved it. But, but there was an idea that came out of the Korean War, uh, and, and that idea was brought about by the fact that there were so many wounded soldiers coming in, and their current system was, uh, as they came in, we'd, we'd try and do our best to fix them, and then move on to the next. But then they realized that some were close to being mortally wounded and needed immediate tension, while others, yeah, you know, a broken leg, a broken arm, and some bruises, so maybe they could set them aside. And that thinking brought about what's known as triage. It's an assignment of degrees of importance or uh, degrees of urgency to something that needs to be done. And in this case, they figured out that they needed to triage all their patients. And my idea or my suggestion to you is, why don't we talk about this time-sensitive way of approaching customers here in your dealership? So, first of all, the customers who have appointments, they're still number one. They made the, the appointment and we deserve to give them the attention that they need at the specific time that we agreed to meet their needs. But what about those uh, walk-ins, those folks that come in with an emergency? I, I'm suggesting that what we do is the advisor immediately assesses what he thinks the problem is and then he assigns uh, the task to maybe something we could call a, a diagnostic rack and we'll have a technician dedicated to that diagnostic rack to quickly look over the vehicle and discern exactly what the problems might be, come back to the, uh, to the advisor, and the advisor shares that information with the advisor, and the advisor shares that information with the customer, and then they determine uh, a timing, you know, how, how, how long is this going to take, how quickly can we get it done for you, uh, so that they have a, an idea of just exactly what's going to take place and how long it's going to take. And then lastly, we're going to assign that work. And of course, we're going to communicate all this information to your team. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? I, I know it's a different idea, maybe a, a little out of the box, but, but I think it's creative. Do you think you could add your ideas? Tell me now what you think, and, and then maybe I can go to the service manager and the advisors and talk to them a little bit about this idea and get their ideas as well. And then uh, I can review the whole concept with the technicians because we need their buy-in. They need to feel like they're a part of what we're trying to do. And then finally, here's what I'll specifically be able to do for you. I can teach this new process. I can roll out the idea to the entire fixed operations team, 
And then I can implement, make sure that it happens, and observe, follow up to see if there's any problems with putting it into place. I don't know. What do you think? Are you on board? Would you just like to try this? Um, if so, I'm ready to go to work right now. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it, Jim.